Good evening, everyone. Mike Palmer from Know Your Rights Group and Success Coaching International with a very, very special live video update uh, this evening. As you can see, I've uh, got none other than uh, both uh, Darren Dixon from Constitution Watch. How are you, mate? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Oh, very tired. Very tired, as we'll get to in a minute. And uh, Daryl O'Brien's uh, joined us tonight as well. How are you, sir? Very good, mate. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So it has been a very, very busy weekend. Uh, the boys have been here the entire weekend. We have been researching. We've been online. We've been looking through books. We've been going through all the PowerPoints, uh, preparing for our new live events. We've come across some amazing information, and uh, I wanted to get the guys to uh, to share some of that uh, with you tonight, uh, just to let you know what we're actually looking into at the moment, uh, some stuff that you, uh, our viewers, can start researching, uh, looking into uh, you know of your own accord. Uh, and of course, this is a little bit of a preview for everybody of what brand new, fully updated information uh, we are going to be including in our uh, upcoming live events in Melbourne at the end of next month. So uh, firstly, Darren, you've kind of had the biggest workload, I guess, because uh, you're the newest member to the team. Uh, we've sort of handballed uh, some stuff to you, said, look, we need some new presentations with your yep. you know, area of expertise and your knowledge and your research base and all the rest of it. So, I mean, one of the, 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 the primary ones, the, the, the biggest presentation, I guess, that you're doing is, uh, in fact, it's broken up over two different presentations, is uh, on these uh, Constitution Commission reports. So uh, just tell our viewers a little bit, you know, why these, you know, what these reports are firstly and why they're so important. So the Constitutional Commission reports are a report that was commissioned by the Attorney General's Office of the Commonwealth. Mm. And it, in a nutshell, is a report to basically overhaul and upgrade the Constitution. Now, there were very many changes that the Labor government did prior in the uh, probably the 10 years prior to the Constitutional Commission reports that were, let's say, beyond power. Ah. And this is a report to bring the Constitution up to scratch with those changes that were done beyond power. Mm. So it's quite an impressionable document. And there's a lot of things that that particular document reveals, even today, things that are not, uh, how shall we say? We shall say that they are not within the power of the, uh, the parliament or the ministers. And there's, uh, there's a lot to answer to. And mm. we're going to be revealing all of that in the seminar. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fascinating stuff, isn't it? I mean, they, they basically acknowledge that, yeah, okay, we've made these new laws that we probably shouldn't have. These are the changes that we need to make to the Constitution to make everything right. And then they haven't actually done anything about it, have they? Exactly. So there's, there's 43 bills in this uh, particular document to change the Constitution by referendum to get you, the people, to... Uh, consent to these changes, as you are most well aware that you are the only ones that can change mm. the constitution. Absolutely. And there's there's certain bills that were presented, but the majority weren't, and they reveal a lot of information about a lot of the misgivings of the mainly the Labor government over the uh, the early uh, period of the 70s and the 80s. So we're also going to be doing another segment. Uh, called Our True Government. Mm. And that's going to be uh, unravelling a few different things like the uh, the Minute 445 from the Law Officer Lindell of the Attorney General's Office. Uh, we'll be unpacking the mechanics of the uh, Queen of Australia fraud. <laughs> yes. uh, also, uh, the removal of the Commonwealth in every act via the uh. Uh, Statute Law Revision Act. Uh, we'll also uh, show you solid evidence, again, how every single sitting member of parliament is actually sitting illegally outside of the parameters of the constitution. And, it's, uh, uh, it's pretty powerful stuff, isn't it? Now, I want before is. people get uh, off track, I want to just bring you back to these uh, Constitution Commission reports because I know there's a lot of information already on your website. So that's constitutionwatch.com.au if people want to go and find out some information. But I know what you've done is you've collated all of your research, not only the, uh, the Constitution Commission reports, but actually all of your summaries and something that you even actually sent, I believe, to the Queen in England. Yeah, there's some documents there that are going to be available that we actually deposited with the Queen and every member of Parliament 
uh, the last parliament about three years ago. So there's, there's over 50 copies of that floating around in the Australian parliament. And there's also many copies that went to each attorney general's office and governor general, the governor general and the governors of the state. But the most important one was it was actually deposited with the Queen of the United Kingdom. Yeah, amazing stuff. Now, we've actually, uh, well, we, you've compiled an amazing uh, uh, CD. This is, this is literally our uh, hot off the press uh, master copy. We haven't got any of the graphics or anything designed yet, but this is uh, a, an amazing information pack CD on those constitutional commission reports. So it's got all of those reports. It's got copies of the, uh, the, the information, the documents deposited with the Queen. It's got your actual summary on everything there. So if people want that, it is available now for pre-order. Uh, just go to our website, knowyourrightsgroup.com.au, click on the products page uh, and or the shop page and you'll find that constitution commission report CD. Uh, that should be ready, uh, available to ship out by the middle of this week. But if you wanna get your order in before anyone else, uh, jump on that page now so yeah i mean it's such amazing stuff that uh that we've added into these uh events royal styles and titles act queen of australia uh you know stuff that we've been talking about for many many years but we've actually just sort of nutted it down we've got all the actual you know legislation uh, all the relevant you know sections and subsections of acts that we can just spell it out for for people just it's you know i, I know what's going to happen because we've had it before where people have come to the events and gone oh wow it's just sort of connected a whole heap of dots for us but i know with the information that you're bringing in now people are just going to have these aha moments where they just go oh my god that all makes that all makes sense now because you know yeah. like we've joined every single dot that there mm. can be joined yes. so every every single aspect of uh the, the creation of the queen of australia and the application to her in australia and the, uh, the, the, the leaving behind of the Commonwealth of Australia once she was created. So there's a lot of different information there that will join all the dots for everybody and give you that complete understanding of what the government have actually been up to. So yeah, so if you uh, haven't yet booked your seats, please uh, just go to our website, uh, click on the seminars tab. You'll find all the topics that we're covering there and you can book your tickets. Now, one of the major ways, I guess, that, um, that you've come across all of this information and collated all the actual evidence is through FOIs, Freedom of Information Requests. Correct. Uh, I mean, we call Daryl the walking encyclopedia, uh, but you are the FOI king. I mean, you have you have drafted so many FOIs, not only for yourself, but for, you know, for other people you've helped, you know, you've helped me with mine. Um, and a correctly worded Freedom of Information Request is so, so powerful. Uh, I mean, you know, would you say that's how you've gained, you know, so much of the evidence that you've got to date? Well, well, a lot of the evidence that we do have is actually from government sources. So it's the most accurate, up-to-date information that the government holds on that particular subject matter. Yeah. Now, what we like to do is we like to research and then we like to get the government to confirm that research. <laughs> yeah. And it's quite interesting because there is a lot of resistance sometimes. Um, sometimes we even find government uh, uh, staff leaving the job after we, uh, <laughs> we point certain uh, yeah. things out. So we've had a lot of great experiences from, you know, interviews with the Prime Minister and Cabinet's office. You'll see uh, there's been a few different interviews with the Federal Police with people mm -hmm. over in Western Australia, Australia lately. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of information out there that has been gathered from the government themselves. They are the ones who are providing that information. So mm. we're not actually making these claims. We research this, mm. we send it to them, they confirm it. And then we send back a summary and we ask them to correct the summary if the information isn't correct. Yeah, yeah. So that's the best way to get a solid outcome on your research. Now, I mean, obviously any of our long-time members would know that we've had a, uh, a Freedom of Information CD available on our website for quite some time, which is really, really great because it contains, A, a lot of Darren's actual uh, FOI requests from the past, and you can really see how to correctly word uh, an FOI to get an effective result. Uh, again, they're on the shop and uh, product page if you're interested. But what you've done now is you've actually put together a step-by-step -step process or a presentation to help people to learn how to write effective FOIs and, and that's now being integrated into the seminars as well, which is fantastic. Exactly, yeah. So very, so very powerful. We'll be looking forward to sharing that with everybody. 
Um, yep. I know I, I came to the last uh, Know Your Rights seminar yep. in, in Melbourne uh, over two years ago. Yes, it was. And yep. there was a couple of people who got in contact with me and we assisted them through COVID to actually write FOIs and they'd come up against all these brick walls <laughs> that uh, we helped them get over those brick walls to reveal a lot of information in regards to COVID, uh, information in regards to the, uh, the medical services that the government uh, are infringing on. Mm -hmm. uh, but look, we can't say too much here in <laughs> no. regards to those details, but all will be revealed at the seminar. Absolutely. And again, you, know, you and I, we used to have a, uh, a, a quite a basic uh, vaccinations presentation uh, in our old uh, events in relation to the, uh, the no jab, no pay and no jab, no play uh, legislation with regards to kids and family tax benefits, that kind of thing. Yep. But we've now completely revamped that. You've brought in a whole heap of information in, rel uh, in relation to COVID vaccines, uh, quarantine authority, uh, authorised officers, uh, whether there's head of power. So, so much information has now been added into that uh, vaccination uh, presentation to encompass everything that's, you know, going on now with COVID, what's, you know, likely to potentially happen with monkeypox and, mm -hmm. and, you know, and any other pandemic situations that they might like to, you know, roll out over time as well. Oh, it's, it's coming. It's, it's coming. It's coming, indeed, indeed. So the information will be invaluable to most people. It will indeed, it will indeed. So tons and tons of uh, new information there from Darren. Now, uh, you haven't been sitting idly by just twiddling your thumbs either you've been uh, right there in the mix you've, you've I don't know how there's any space left on the table with all the books that you've uh, you've brought around the computers I think we had five laptops on the on the table at one time just pulling information out and you've done a heap of updates to uh, uh, some of the information that we've had there in the uh, in the past presentations uh, I know you're doing a, an introductory and intermediate uh, Commonwealth Constitution seminar I know you've added in some uh, some new information in regards to that uh, I think the uh, the uh, civil civil and criminal you've added in a bunch of info so you want to share with uh with our viewers just some of the extra information that uh, you know that you're now researching that you're coming across you know that i'm sure will be of anyone you know interest to anyone who's watching this well of course the last two years have really brought on some uh rapid changes mm. <laughs> that's the <laughs> so understatement of the day <laughs> we've uh, that's really caused us to dive a lot deeper mm. Yep. Uh, into the Constitution, not only the Constitution, but the action of the courts. Yes. And um, especially when we looked at the New South Wales Supreme Court case, the Hazard case, mm -hmm. yep. um, you know, it's caused us to really dive a lot deeper, and especially with respect to health and mm -hmm. what the High Courts had um, as far as an opinion on health, you know, dating right back to 1946. So, of course, I've then gone into the Constitution and made some changes. Yep that um, I think that, that, that our listeners will benefit from at the seminars yep. and help them better understand essentially what the Constitution says with respect to that yep. and, and how they deal with that in the courts. Yeah, that's um, the important thing, isn't it? Because and, and, a lot of people are facing you know, courtroom situations where they've never yep. been before or because yep. they were trying to do their daily thing. you know. Exactly, um, yeah. So I, I think this, you know, what we're basically offering... Uh, to the listener is these seminars are going to be uh, we're stuck purely to what the, the letter of the law says mm. and so we're going to be applying that accordingly yeah. um, to those in the seminar it's not our, our opinion so mm. much it's uh, now our opinion comes in with respect to you know uh, how we've study yeah. the law and, and, and how we're able to come up with a particular opinion but when we put it up on the slides it's really crucial that the, we're, here, we're there to help the listener and, the, and those that come to the seminar better understand what yeah. it is the Constitution means to them. Yes. And, and this is crucial. And why it's such an important document still to this day. It's not some dusty old book that sits in a law library. It's, it's, it's as, as valid today as it was when it was written. If, if not more so. Yeah. It really, uh, the voice of the Constitution relies heavily upon the people. Mm. It's not the Parliament. Yeah. Uh, the, the Parliament's just there to basically take their instructions from the people. And we felt obligated, especially, to um, to get that message out to the people so that they can then turn around comfortably mm. and and lawfully instruct their parliamentarians to do what the Constitution um, conveys. Yeah. This is really about handing that power over to the highest authority. And we yeah. really emphasise this, and we've made changes and additions to the to the um, constitutional um, uh, points in the introductory and the in intermediate yeah. so that people can better understand and grasp what it is 
that their role um, is and, and how they can play an active role. Yeah. Uh, now more than any other time before this system just throws this constitution out the door mm. or, or do, does their best to do that. To try that, yeah. So we've got to be on guard mm. and we really have to stand up and say, no, hang on, guys. You know, in combination with what Darren's done and um, what, what yourself and I yeah. have done, you know, we can be comfortable by going to this seminar. You'll go away with... Uh, a, a oh, bag of knowledge that you're able to comfortably go out and apply. And apply, yeah, that's the key. Without hesitation, because we'll help you understand what it is that you're doing, mm. and then convey that uh, through either written or oral, yeah. or whatever sort of communication you want to apply to that particular mm. member of parliament. It's so so important. Now, I want to just I just want to touch on that point because a couple of people have sent messages through. Oh, you know, your, your two hour Friday night thing. You know, isn't that just an upsell to the the rest of the weekend? And and absolutely not because as you've said tonight, you've already put in. You know, God only knows how much time even into updating the introductory seminars. Uh, we used to go from six to eight pm on the Friday. Well, that's blown out. It's now six to eight thirty. Mm -hmm. uh, we've added in the extra presentation on the uh, the Constitution Commission reports. So. Even if you were to only turn up just on the Friday night, you're still going to leave with a you know, a whole heap of information, and, and that's a key thing. Uh, you know, and I've said this on many of our videos before. You know, here at the Know Your Rights Group, we're all about that concept of you know, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but teach him how to fish, and you feed him for life. And that's what these events are really all about. It's not just a, oh, come on Friday, and we'll upsell you to the weekend, and we'll give you a couple of little things, and then fill it all full of fluff. I mean, it is go go go. I mean, we've been going through these uh, PowerPoint presentations, thinking, oh, how are we going to get all this information across to people within these time frames and still stick to you know the the, the times and days that we've got and uh, there's so much in there. I know you've added some more to the uh, the local government and rates as yep. well because again that's that's been an issue for a lot of people so we've you know really drilled down into the legislation in regards to that and I know you've added some some info in regards to that as well and also the role of the Queen and uh, yep. how the Queen and the monarch, you know, be it a queen or king or whoever yes. steps in into that role after yep. London Bridge is burned down. Yes, um, yes. So essentially, we help you better understand what how to recognise the true monarch, mm -hmm. and that's very important as well. Absolutely. So, you know, it's all about you will go away from the seminar just. As people have experienced in our past seminars, it's this little mushroom cloud that appears above <laughs> their head. <laughs> but eventually, they've they've got the books to fall back on. Yes, yes, and of course. Of course, you know. Then we've got the the radio show where they can email us and, and all yeah. this. So we're there. We have information that's real. Yeah. It's tangible. Yeah. Um, it can be applied. It's not someone's opinion, or you know, it's not some not just a good idea or anything. It, it's, no, it, and, and it it's gets not results. An obscure point of view towards mm. where we're targeting what the law says, and we dive into Hansard. We dive into what the courts say. You know, we're we're mm. about the, the devil's in the detail. Mm. Really. And and I think another key point. I know, like we used to do an Osley presentation, mm. but now with uh, Darren coming in, we're going to combine Osley and Com Law. So it just gives people, you know, that wider, you know, field of, uh, you know, area that they can go and actually research everything. Because as we say to everyone all the time, you know, don't blindly believe anything we say at all. But if something's, you know, intriguing or interesting, whether it's in our books or our radio shows or our CDs, we show you where to actually go and find that information and confirm and verify and validate it for yourselves, which is so important. And because uh, then that's when people can actually take that tangible information, they can take it into their court cases, they can, you know, they can verbalize these arguments and that's where the real, you know, the real results happen. So. Yeah, it's about substance and structure. Yeah, always. And this is what we're here to, to hand over to you so that you go in and you put the court or the, the, the prosecution, the state or the Commonwealth on notice yeah. in a constructive manner that um, all compliant with the rules of the court and everyone's happy and, uh, and essentially at the end of the day it's about empowering you the people uh, where you have been lacking due to a designed fault yeah yeah keep everyone on the on the you know on the rat wheel you know going yeah. around around in circles so they don't have time to go and actually investigate and research the things that they should be doing yeah. i know i know we've got a, a brand new notice for discovery process yeah. which you and darren are, are doing together you know showing people how to use the you know as you said use the court rules to your benefit to elicit 
information exactly. you know that you can then use you know in your court cases uh, i know you guys are revamping as well the uh, the writing letters section so not just as a ppr but also uh, as the subject of the queen and you know, why that's such an important distinction and uh, you know and such a powerful position to to stand in yeah so. and it's it very important because people need to understand that the, there are two positions that one can stand and the system's admitted to this yes so yeah I'll show you that show you the court it's cases not, yeah some harebrained scheme that a lot of people have come up with that you might see on YouTube and I've watched too much of it and just <laughs> oh, gone, yes. wow, you are so far from the truth. It's yeah. so funny. But, you know, we really want to focus on the truth. Absolutely. How it can be applied accordingly to help you better understand and apply yourself to the system. Yeah. And this is really, the, this is the most powerful information you'll get because this stuff that we're going to project to you through this seminar you just can't look it straight up on the internet. No, and it's always evolving. I mean, we've always said this before. Every time we do a new event, you know, the information evolves and the workbooks evolve and the presentations evolve. But now having Darren on board with a whole new set of skills and experience and knowledge and court cases under his belt just adds to that so much more. I mean, even I know uh, with the Aussie speeding fines information that I've you know presented over the years, and now you know, you've come along going, oh, well, hang on, why don't we adapt this bit of consumer law and we'll add that in, and that's another strategy that people can use as well. You know, un unsolicited, you know, yeah. unsolicited services. Wow. So I so mean, stuff. That. That, yeah. 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 The the, the um, discovery stuff. I mean, we're going to go into detail like you wouldn't believe, and it helps people at that courtroom level. Mm, it absolutely really does, especially so. You know, Western Australia, Victoria. The, there is so much diversity between the states just on that one subject. Mm. But then you've got you know. Queensland, um, <laughs> ah, yes. which is where all the problems really <laughs> start from. So you know, there is so much to take yeah. on board and it's yeah. just so important. So, so important. Absolutely. So look, uh, everyone, there is going to be a heap of new information in these uh, live events. Uh, we will be having live events in Queensland. We're just waiting on a confirmation of dates and venue. Uh, we're going to be having live events in Perth. Uh, we're also going to be having live events in Adelaide and, of course, the upcoming ones in uh, Melbourne at the end of July. They are more than 50% uh, sold out. There's still five weeks to go, so please get in sooner rather than later. Now, of course, if for whatever reason uh, you can't make it to those live events, a lot of the information, at least all the basics, can, of course, be found in those books that I've shared with people many times before. Uh, the Know Your Rights book, the essential step-by-step -step manual for understanding and exercising your rights. That Aussie Speeding Fines book has been around for 15 years. People have successfully used that to adapt to any type of fines, traffic fines, COVID fines, unregistered dog fines, whatever it is. We know, of course, as well, a lot of people are struggling financially. Uh, maybe that's one of the, the, the barriers to attending our events. Please come along to the Friday night. It is completely free. At least get some of the information but again, this is a really great way to learn how to discharge all of those uh, unsecured personal loans, credit cards, things like that. Plus, of course, learn about the fraud that the banks commit every single time they engage in a mortgage. So you can get these uh, individually. Uh, you can get them uh, as part of the combo pack. There's links uh, there uh, for all of that. Please uh, don't forget about that uh, brand new product, the uh, Constitution uh, Commission Reports. Uh, fantastic information in that. And again, if you uh, are unable to make it to the live events for whatever reason, uh, at the very least do yourself a favor grab this home study course i know not everyone can take two and a half days off straight and attend an event somewhere so this is fantastic because you get to learn all of that information but in the comfort of your own home and of course at your own pace you can do it over two and a half months if you want to uh, so we've got all the same information the uh, two and a half hour recorded live event over 17 dvds three custom-made workbooks everything is in there from beginner right through to advanced so uh, a fantastic uh, product there as well so uh, guys uh, thank you I know it's been a couple of uh, really long days uh, sitting there nutting out all this information getting all the research done you know cutting and pasting everything into the presentations we've still probably got a couple of hours ahead of us uh, but we're going to get all this done we're going to get this all put together we're going to have brand new fully updated workbooks there's going to be so much amazing information and uh, look we can't wait to see you uh, all at the various events uh, around the country uh, over the course of the uh, coming months. Uh, don't forget uh, that we are back uh, live on air, of course, on Tuesday night. We get one night of sleep and uh, right back into it again. So uh, Tuesday night, again, that's a two-hour show. Uh, we can go into a lot more detailed information than we can do on these short videos. Of course, those shows are completely uncensored, so we can say a lot of the things that we can't actually say.
say uh, on these videos. Uh, so don't forget that is also going to be our uh, last uh, radio show for a couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, I've got to attend to my back. Uh, so please make sure you tune in between 8 and 10 p.m. Uh, this coming Tuesday. Just click on the radio show tab on the Know Your Rights uh, website to tune in live from wherever you are. Uh, so thanks again, guys. Uh, I'll obviously uh, see you on uh, Tuesday night. And uh, there will be one last live video update uh, before I go in for my back. That will be next Thursday at 8.30 p.m. I look forward to seeing you all there. Until then, take care. See ya. Bye. Bye.